Channel 5's community program tonight at 6. This is the weekend edition of News Center 5 with Mike Jackson at the anchor desk and Carol Marine. Good evening, I'm Mike Jackson. And I'm Carol Marine. At the top of the news tonight, the death toll in that mass murder suicide in Guyana is now up to an unbelievable 910 people, more than double the original figure released by South American officials. The count jumped to 775 yesterday when the bodies of some victims were found lying under others. More were found the same way today. Soldiers have had to wear gas masks while removing the decayed bodies from the jungle settlement. The estimated $9 million it is... ...in New Center 5. There were two shooting deaths early this morning, both of them somewhat unusual. The first happened in a West Side nursing home when two elderly residents apparently quarreled and then pulled guns on each other. Dead is 66-year-old George Birdsong. If the computer estimate of the storm track is accurate, we'll know more when Jim Hill will have details later in our broadcast. And after a break, a story about repair work continuing on the Eisenhower Expressway. Tomorrow, Lynn Scott reports. Officials of the Illinois Department of Transportation. We're not alone if you thought this was a beautiful day to get outside. Remember, we have been talking about snow, and it looks like their race may have a little snow for tomorrow. I've been doing a thing every Saturday for about the last four right. weeks, Carol. We ask Carol, you, will it snow, saying, and you say yeah, no. Right? Ahead of time, you know, looking out four, five, six, seven days ahead of time, saying, well, winter is not around the corner. Winter is not just ahead. It is. Now, winter is just ahead. Our first substantial snowfall of the season is on the way, and as a matter of fact, the picture is the forecast. That's it. By this time tomorrow, we're going to see a good deal of snow on the ground, I think, if the computers are right. First of all, to get snow, we have to have a lifting mechanism, which is now sitting in the Texas panhandle. We have to have cold air also, or it'll turn out to be rain, and the air is just about that cold now. The present temperatures are 36 at Midway, 35 at O'Hare, and 33 degrees at the lakefront. Just a drop of a very, very few degrees will be enough of a drop to support a major snowstorm in the Chicago area, and the computers are definitely forecasting just that. First of all, the high pressure that brought our sunshine yesterday and today, which I was tickled to death to see, is giving up now and moving off to the east. The storm, and it's already a pretty fair-sized storm, is sitting in the Texas panhandle. The next thing that you have to look for is the track, that, or the, first of all, you have to look at the access to moisture. Is there moisture coming into the storm system? And there definitely is in this case. And the next thing to look for is the anticipated path or track that that storm will follow as it moves eastward, and we've talked about this for years and years on Channel 5. Look for the intensity of the storm, the speed of the storm, the path of the storm, and the access to moisture. This storm, the computers say, will move across southern Illinois, southern Indiana, and up the Ohio River Valley, and if it does that, we're sure to be in that heaviest band of snowfall across northern Wisconsin, southern, uh, northern Illinois, southern Wisconsin, and northern Indiana. How much snow? It could be six, seven, eight inches. Nobody knows at this point, but if the track and everything else turns out to be just as is forecast here, we're going to have several inches in the ground before night falls tomorrow night. Take a look at the radar very quickly. I say very quickly because there's nothing on it now. It's snowing to beat the bend in Nebraska right now, but nothing on our screen. We'll have the forecast for tonight and tomorrow in just a minute. If the computers are right, and I certainly hope they're wrong, but if they're right, then I expect they probably will turn out to be our first significant snowfall of the season. Snow beginning probably before midnight tonight. A low temperature about 28 degrees tomorrow morning. Snow all day tomorrow, tomorrow night, and down into probably 5 or 6 o'clock Monday morning. The accumulation could be several inches. Winter storm watches in effect from the National Weather Service for Chicago. Snow possibly heavy, even probably heavy. Windy and cold tomorrow, a high temperature 33 degrees. Get ready for it, because it's probably... Robert Vaughn and Christopher Lee star in Starship Invasions, the Sunday late movie, tomorrow night at 1045, right here on Channel 5. A Channel 5 editorial follows immediately.